Hey guys, this is Morgan, and in this video, I will be doing a species profile on the smallest but one of the most interesting Campanotus species in Southeast Asia, Campanotus albospossus. Despite being one of the most common ants in Singapore and Southeast Asia, Campanotus albospossus does not have a common name. They are monogenous, trimorphic, and claustral. These ants are a beginner species, being one of the easiest species to keep in Singapore. This is due to two main reasons. Firstly, their ability to survive in a wide range of conditions. Such conditions are humidity and lack of food and water. This is because they have the ability to store food and water in their social stomachs for long periods of time. The second reason lies in their size. Despite being of the smallest Campanotus species, they are still unable to squeeze through most gaps, making them poor escape artists. The queens are about 11mm and possess a dark brown colour and a large thorax, while the workers are about 4-6mm to with a light brown colour and two dots on their gasters. More about this in a moment. In the wild, they live in soil nests commonly built under rocks and logs. For them to thrive in captivity, the conditions of their setup should be similar to that of Singapore in the wild with 24 to 30 degrees Celsius for temperature and 60 to 80% for humidity. However, in my experience from first starting out and keeping, they have the capabilities to survive a wide range of humidity from being really moist or really dry. This may sound complicated, but don't worry. They are able to survive in both types of formicariums. These ants are not picky eaters. They are scavengers that eat practically anything that they can find, even bird poo. So, remember what I said about the two dots on their gaster? These dots are actually fake eyes. When under threat, they will raise their abdomens and do thrusting movements in an attempt to scare off predators. According to Sid Perkins, about 68% of birds flew away or showed signs of being startled by the eye mimicking spots. I've also noticed myself that these ants will fill up their gasters with water in an attempt to make their gasters even more visible. They're such interesting ants, aren't they? If you're living in Singapore, then this is your lucky day. I'm giving away free founding colonies of the species Campanotus albospossus to any new ant keepers looking to keep this species in Singapore. To collect it, simply contact me at my email or send me a message on Instagram. Do like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe so that you won't miss out any future content. Do leave a comment about what you think about this species and share this with a friend who might be interested in keeping Campanotus albospossus. Anyways, that's the end of the video and I'll see you next time. Bye!